in the last uh, part of my introduction to Nietzsche, perhaps a, a more a difficult one, because I would like to invite you to reflect uh, upon um, the impact of uh, Nietzsche's uh, thoughts uh, on ourselves. Uh, so I can say uh, for me that Nietzsche uh, is one of the most uh, provocative uh, thinkers uh, uh, whom I met in, in, my, in my life. Uh, when I was in your age as a student, I remember in a student of uh, uh, Polish um, philology, a Polish literature in the 70s, it was the first time that I discovered Nietzsche as this uh, provocative uh, uh, thinker. And uh, during my last 40 years, uh, from time to time, I'm returning to, to him, to his provocation. And uh, I include him in many of my writings uh, because I uh, consider him uh, uh, simply refreshing uh, is, uh, is this, uh, this radical criticism of everything which is dear to, to me uh, required uh, an, an effort to redefine a new, uh, my own identity, so to say. So I hope that uh, you will uh, went through the same uh, uh, provocation, uh, refreshing, and redefining uh, uh, your own worldview. Because uh, in our discussions, some of you ask uh, to, uh, if we, uh, if it is, makes sense to to return to the old philosophy or if it uh, is no uh, more creative to discover new things etc etc but i would say no in not only uh, we need to return to old uh, well-known uh, uh, books uh, philosophers uh, but also we have to be very conscious of how differently we read the same books uh, in different stage of our life. Well, now you are students, so you have to think, uh, first of all, about uh, your exams, uh, about uh, um, memorizing a lot of material for the exams, for, for to, to write, to, to make presentations, etc., etc. All this, of course, is very important and perhaps most important in this moment in Sesia Examinacina. Nevertheless, uh, I, I, I would uh, encourage you to, 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 to be very creative uh, also in facing obligations. So uh, if Nietzsche in your age was already teaching and were already reflecting on, on his tradition, on his uh, being a Christian, being an expert in, in Greek philosophy, and he was proposing something new, right? So the uh, 19th century and this fascination of uh, German culture in the 19th century with the discoveries of uh, uh, Sparta, of Athens, uh, this, the, this moment that entire world, particularly Germans, were fascinated by the Greek, uh, Greek um, tradition, uh, poetry, Plato, etc., etc., but it was, as you see, not uh, innocent. When you discover something and you include your discoveries in your own world, in your mental world, in your, in your worldview, you redefine everything what, what is inside your, your head. So this working of 
ideas being in constant dialogue between the old and the new, the tradition and the newity, the dialogue, continuity, but also uh, struggle, fighting. I think all you, you, you find in, in, in Nietzsche's uh, world of ideas. And I, I find and I encourage you to, to, to see how um, dynamic uh, relationship do you have with, with the world which you are entering uh, during your studies. Because I think what, what he is uh, uh, encouraging us that this is not only uh, memorizing, not only uh, enjoying uh, discovery of new thoughts, but uh, you are creating a dynamic struggle between old and new. And uh, one of the most uh, important perhaps in this is, uh, is how, how we treat uh, Christianity, how we treat religion. So this is the constant element of, of our course. Uh, you remember uh, all uh, creative uh, uh, thinkers which we analyzed in our previous classes, like uh, particularly the same founder of our Western tradition, Socrates and Plato, and uh, in, in the beginning of uh, modern age, uh, Spinoza and uh, Dewey and now uh, Nietzsche. So you, you see everyone contributed in a special way to, to this Western tradition. Women Hypatia, what we remember from her that she was a charismatic teacher, she was transmitting tradition, but she was also inviting her students to enter in dialogue with tradition independently if they were uh, Christian or if they were not Christian, all uh, in her school had the right to voice their arguments and to enter in, in, in dialogue. And I think that this is the uh, what uh, Nietzsche is uh, teaching us, that we are really entering in, in constant dialogue with the entire world. We are not afraid, we are not uh, perceiving world as threat to our identity. The opposite, we are constructing our identity, uh, leaving our uh, house, so to say, or our culture, and looking with curiosity toward others. And exactly this meeting with other is something which, uh, uh, which create our identity. So plural, pluralism, plural, cultural pluralism, philosophical pluralism is something which, which uh, has a future. And of course, please remember that, what, that, that you are living in completely different context as Nietzsche, because for him, of course, old tradition, Greek text, uh, the Bible, New Testament. This was his uh, word with the, which he was in constant dialogue and developing his idea, of course, furiously attacking theologians who were not having this curiosity to discover something new. And he said, this is the end of philosophy. This is the end of, of human freedom if you only obey. For example, he, he wrote many uh, passages against truth. He said, if the truth is something which you have, what you have in your pocket is not the real truth. The truth is only in the process of discovery. It's, it's something which is uh, beyond your horizon. The more you know, less you are certain of your knowledge. And this is, I think, the fascinating adventure of Nietzsche as a philosopher. He was not uh, writing treatise, he was not writing a, a, a complete uh, a system, but fragments. 
And this is his way of, of philosophizing. You remember our class, uh, how you philosophize. Uh, you can write letters, you can write uh, treatises, you can write confessions, etc. But you can also write your illuminating thoughts. Suddenly something new is coming to your mind and you write down and this in the moment when you write down something is uh, you're experiencing a discovery of something new. So all this uh, are really uh, fascinating and I hope that I I share with you uh, not only my fascination with Nietzsche but also his uh, ability to uh, enter in, in, in interdisciplinary dialogue with others, with, with uh, Wagner music, with the Helderlin poetry, you know, so, so the philosophy is not only uh, dry uh, speculation, it's uh, really this ability to enjoy music, to, to, to leave your feelings to be uh, like fascinated by, by, by music. In his case, Wagner, although it was quite complicated relationship with, with Wagner. But nevertheless, uh, what I want to say that philosophy is not only a, a pure abstract uh, uh, reading and writing uh, about eternal thoughts, but this, this is the ability to discover this philosophical di dimension everywhere. Uh, you look uh, through your windows and you discover the beauty of, of nature. Uh, you fall in love and you discover how beautiful it could be to love someone and to feel that someone uh, loves you. So all this um, uh, are philosophy. And when, when you are uh, under strict control, when only... Uh, law is important for you, you can forget about philosophy. Phil philosophy is something creative, it's a flow, it's, uh, Sigmund Bauman will say fluid or liquid, uh, and, and uh, this is the flow of new ideas, and this is what, what actually uh, Nietzsche's uh, philosophy is about. This is, has nothing to do with the uh, a deadly Nazi philosophy, as so many uh, who never read his books uh, accused him. But this is this creative, uh, based on, on freedom, on, on uh, also intelligence. I think he was extremely intelligent and he was looking beyond words. He was not a prisoner of ideas which was transmitted to him by his uh, teachers or his father, a, a pastor, but he was, you know, developing a, a new idea. So I hope that in your questions and in our discussion in class, we will enter in this adventure of um, Nietzsche as a, as a prophet, as a philosophical prophet who will teach us that our uh, thinking don't have limits, the opposite, this elan vital, this uh, being in, in motion all the time is what is the essence of philosophy.